So by the end of the last video I'd stored up a huge amount of money after recent conquests in the New World. The Native Americans turned out to be very rich. So I've actually spent a ton of that at the start of this video, or just before actually. As you can see here I've got a ton of new workshops being built and temples. And there's a barracks in there amongst them somewhere. Uh, basically all of the provinces I own now, at least in, the, in Europe, uh, only have one building slot left, apart from about three provinces, which I'm not entirely sure what I want to do, one down there, and a couple in southern Sweden. Uh, I've, with the rest of my money, I'm going to be saving that up for future bastions and training fields, which I get with the next military tech. And of course, I'm going to want universities in most of these territories. That's why I'm leaving one building slot free, because the university gives an extra building slot if you happen to build it. So it's... Uh, only really worthwhile in building though if you want to actually develop a province and I'm not sure where I want to develop yet so I'm keeping my options open. So at the start of this video, uh, once again we're even closer to getting that Baltic Crusade achievement. I need one more war against Lithuania and that should be about it and to uh, convert up the lands. I think I have to integrate Novgorod uh, to actually get the achievement but they've actually converted every single province here so I'm not 100% sure. If you don't have to integrate everything and you can just vassal it up then this would count. But uh, if uh, that's not the case this is actually due to finish in 1599 so I can actually do it before the end of the uh, 16th century. Now I can actually speed that up as well. My diplo points have somehow been going up even though I'm spending six per month or so towards annexing Novgorod or four currently. Uh, yeah, I can actually increase this, so the rate of progress on it. So what I need to do to do that is actually get a couple of ideas, if I can find the right screen. Uh, I've been a while since I recorded, so it's going to be a bit rusty. Right, this uh, reduces aggressive expansion, and the next one, which is more important, actually increases our diplomatic reputation. So let's get this. So it's full 20. And get that. After I've completed this uh, achievement, I can basically convert to Protestant, so I won't be spending, well, the extra 20 points in each and every idea and an extra 30 points in every uh, tech I get because of the an idea I, I took earlier on. I can't remember what it's called. The Counter-Reformation one, I think it was. So that will make things cheaper eventually. Right, that's done now. So we are spending 6 points per month, and that has reduced that by about 4 years. It's due to be done in about nine years time. Now I want to increase my chances of also getting control of Korea. So I'm gonna spend 25 people influence there. Not really sure I should <coughs> excuse me. Not really sure I should be doing that, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep fifty back to increase the this if it runs out. I'm not sure when it runs out next. I've probably got a while to go on that actually. Now Danzig has been getting a lot stronger recently, which really worries me the fact that they're allied to France and Austria if they decided to go after me that could cause a lot of problems they don't have a claim on me yet but uh, who knows it could happen I of course uh, don't really have any allies I'm still allied to the hands uh, in recent videos I've got a couple of new vassals though Gazkamuk and Scotland I've got a ton of colonial nations over here now which I'm uh, still colonizing over there and to uh, make them a bit larger. Now I think I'm ready to get started with this free diplomat. I'm actually going to make a claim on Circassia. I should probably take this land before the Ottomans get any ideas. It's only going to be a matter of time. Uh, I think at some point Danzig was available to... Oh yeah, it's back on. Brilliant. So yeah, I think I should improve relations with these and try and vassalize them actually. That's probably the only way I'll be able to get their territory. I certainly need to do it with uh, this trade situation. But yeah, let's first of all get this claim against Circassia and then our improved relations over there. Uh, so convert, fabricate claim. Uh, that province there. Huge chance of getting caught. Is this going to be worthwhile? Probably. Okay. Uh, I think I'll give that territory to Gazkamuk and take that. They have the Caucasian or Circassian Corian cost thin, which isn't going to be great. Not sure when I'm going to do that because it would lower Diplo reputation. 
like to cancel embargoes. Luckily, no one's declaring war on me. Ottomans and their allies. It's only a matter of time before they decide to. Well, it's, may, maybe they might go for me eventually. Uh, rivals, I'm going to be selecting these soon. We've actually lost all of these very recently. This is going down rapidly. I should prop. I'm going to do Great Britain. I'm going to do Uzbek. I might do Ottoman since they rivaled me. I'm going to hold off a bit more. Where am I? You know what? I'm going to select uh, Britain. The League War, Religious League War, kicked off not long ago, so they're all going to be busy pretty much all of Europe for some time. That means I can actually embargo them, and I forgot. Uh, I think I'll leave that at, like that for the time being. I got a. There's quite a few territories I want to conquer in the not too distant future: Kazan, Matsovia, Circassia. But I don't want to lower my diplo rep currently until Novgorod integrated, particularly. Uh, so okay, I can. I might be a bit too many troops to be searching over there at the moment. I'll lower that a bit, and continue things. They're on the uh, seven cities quest, as you can see there. Uh, there's no real reason for me not to explore a lot of these areas now. Although maybe I should be coming more over towards California since that's a uh, colonial nation I might want. Okay. My fleet which blocks it. Not too distant future I might be going after Great Britain as well. Uh, I'm going to have to build up more of a heavy fleet. I think I'll bring this back and to there. And then come up here. I'm not going to conquer any more Native Americans until they've called up all of these territories and they probably haven't yet. So yeah, you can see that's not cool. Right, it's time to talk and let's get uh, going the timer. I might start this war when that claim's done against uh, Circassia, I'm not sure. Uh, Battle of Iowa's won. Okay, that fleet's down there. What's trade looking like? Not great, to be honest. Abenaki collapsed. I'm miles ahead of my military tech, so I'm probably going to have to spend some admin or diplo on uh, development if I'm going to spend my uh, military points on something. Uh, right, colonization successful. That's three on the go. Not going to do four quite yet, but. Yeah, a bit more. If I'm earning like 20 ducats per month, well, I, actually, once Novgorod's integrated, I'll probably do four colonies on the go. I'll set that as a date. Converting to Protestantism, which is something I'm going to be thinking much more about. I, The religious disaster thing goes away. It can't literally happen when the 1600 happens, the 17th century. So that's probably when I should convert to Protestantism. Uh, because it's there would be a chance of that disaster happening if I convert because the Council Reformation thing which I took which prevents that would no longer be uh, initiated by our country. Uh, right, so we've cause for provinces which means I can now religiously convert all of these. I need to, to do that to get the achievement. Okay, uh, military, manpower's recovering, I want to hire some more cannons, probably get them up there, you know what, let's do that now. So, cannon, 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 uh, one, two, three, four, okay. So all of our uh, military Regiments in Europe left 22k stacks. Uh, what's it? 10 for 8, something like that. Composition is. Okay, army arrived. Let's put these back on hand. Not quite where I wanted. I wanted there. Uh, if you must, let's do that then. You know what? Let's try and find that province. So let's go to there. And then put it on. Poland went bankrupt. Yeah, so this League War is happening at the moment. If we go to one of the late screens, yeah, that's the current situation. If, well, if it hadn't have happened, 
until like 1600 odds then I might have actually joined it because I could have converted to Protestantism and then I would have been actually in charge of the of this side so I would be in control of the peace deals I probably would have uh, joined it then but yeah I didn't think it was worthwhile having a massive war that I can't really gain much from okay army arrived in somewhere with the uprisings What's the rebellion situation? Fine, really. Uh, let's do that. Right, nice. Uh, Bohemia, believe it or not, our emperor once again. That's the third or fourth time that's happened. Brilliant. Uh, so what am I looking for? Trade's gone up quite a bit. What's sudden? No idea why. General France, because I finished coring and it went up a point, so we're now at seven. That's due to get done in '94, so seven years' time. I'm probably not going to start this war immediately. I'm then. I'm just going to let this integrate. I think. Oh, the thing I need to definitely remember: that I was actually starting a war against Lithuania. Uh, so that's 1519 March. That's the next war coming up then. Unless the Ottomans go for Circassia, then I'll go after them. Okay. Uh, France. Enter the lines of Brittany. False diamonds of Alabama. Our explorer has sent us gems he claims to have found in Alabama. White and glittering, he believes them to be diamonds. But our learned scholars tell us that they are common quartz instead. Far from a source of wealth. They have become a source of ridicule. Lose five prestige. Okay. Uh, so we're going to. Right, that's fine by me. Quivira. Explodes again. The lack of wealth in Chickamauga disappointed the conquistador greatly. But the tales told by a native known as the Turk cheered him up. A wealthy civilization named Kivira lies far to the east, or was it north, of Chickamauga, where the chief drank from golden cups hanging from the trees. Find the golden cups of Kivira for extra yearly prestige for the rest of the game. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Or well, gain five prestige now, I think. Uh, that's an easy choice. There. Let's get the golden cups. Okay, uh, diplomats back from Circassia. Now, what am I going to do with you? Uh, this claim I can do a Matsovia. I probably need to conquer at least those two territories pretty soon before Danzig does. Uh, so I think I might do that war at the same time as Circassia. Uh, I, yeah, let's make a claim here now. So this is probably going to be. Well, between one and three aggressive expansion. Who gives a damn about that then? Right, good chance of getting caught though. My situation with aggressive expansion or coalition map mode, if you're wondering, is that I really don't like the change they made, actually, Paradox, making it 50 aggressive expansion. The chance of coalitions forming are remote, but, uh, and that's being kind as well. It's never going to happen pretty much. I thought, I thought 30 was fine. Uh, that even at 30 it didn't happen too much coalition war so I really don't understand why they made that change bad change in my opinion uh, province of Maragay uh, defected to Karakayunlu so that was Georgia's province so I could get in another war against Georgia to remove the cord there which wouldn't be a terrible idea I need to remove all the cores there that's not a bad idea when can I declare war on Georgia 94 Four. Yeah, so I need to do that. So what's the cage's cause? I need to actually get them to remove those two. I can't get them to remove those because they're the same culture, sadly. Right. I might even I could even make a claim there, but I think I just give the gas can make. Okay, and exploits Kentucky. Go watch the derby. Uh Ajran was annexed. Okay, Cardinals' policies upset nobles. C 
since we made one of our cardinals a minister in our government, he has gone far beyond providing theological insights and innovated significantly in the administration of Livonian order. Unfortunately, his suggestions of centralizing power are not possible without removing some authority from the nobles, who have begun to see him as an opportunist. At this point, trying to remove him from office over this dispute would probably mean we lost his loyalty altogether. But the nobles who stand to lose from his plans consider this a sacrifice easily worth making. Uh, so we can lose a cardinal. We'll have a rebellion. National unrest. I'll just lose a cardinal. I can't be asked with rebellion. Arms of attack, Micmac. We have troops there. I'm a bit surprised that no one has tried to colonize these areas, even though we've got Tordesillas in effect. But um, I'm wondering what's going to happen when we turn Protestant. Will the Catholic nation start to colonize here? All of our buildings completed. Very nice. That should mean a lot of extra money. 15 hours. Okay, I think it may be time to start another. Settler on a go here then. So where to? So one there. Let's recall that guy then. Okay, ah, wait a day. And should I go there, finish off Canada, or come down here? I think. Should be south. Colonial region, yeah, that's part of. Yeah, Colonial Mexico goes up here. It's a huge amount. Let's see. I don't think we're in danger of losing that one that yet, so yeah, I'm just gonna f do Canada now. Let's do that there. Send. Uh, let's get a couple of guys out here. We're not done today. We're not done today. We're not done today. Okay. Altair was converted. Military reform. Gottfried III has begun a thorough revision of our country's military structure. While officers are still drawn from nobility, the peasants and townspeople are conscripted into the other ranks. Regular drilling has been introduced and a powerful fleet established together with hundreds of battleships, galleys and other, other craft. So we can get some military tech uh, thinimajigami for five years, but we're a long way ahead sadly. I don't need the Diplo one because I haven't completed my influence ideas and I certainly don't have any points. Uh, or we can have a mix. Smile of armies. Oh, wow, it's a huge amount of points here. I'm actually going to take the Diplo point one then, even though I'm not going to use the tech thing, uh, because I'm not going to have anything to spend my military points on, simply. So we're so far ahead. I think that's the best option here. Okay. Fur. Get more fur up in Canada. We've already got the uh, trade and fur bonus. Okay, that's done. Still waiting on March 1590. Hope none of my. Lithuanian claims are running out. Galish, I can do something about. Uh, let's try that. Okay, I think that might still be rebellion though without the army there. Not sure. Uh, Stockholm. Exploits. Stockholm. Forgery of documents. 
Let's take the admin power. I have no idea who it's against. I think we've had that event before. Okay, it's done. Right. Which Galish or Gallic? Uh, Bledges Zeal ran out in various places. Uh, what am I looking for? That one, right, brilliant, They've gone away. Fantastic, it's well worth moving them then. It's no point in me converting any more Protestant promises now, is there? Uh, right, they're nearly there. New Pope, oh, well that sucks. I had invested a lot and I was probably had the biggest chance and yet we've lost again. So it's five and there, another ten. And that'll do. Uh, attach and bring them up to there. To be honest, we've had one diplomat for quite a while and I haven't done too badly at all. I think I wouldn't be so worried about that situation again in future. I was pretty worried about having a diplomat for about 30 odd years. Not sure how long this integration has taken, but uh, it's probably about 20 odd years in reality. 25 maybe. Alright, Fleet Street, Kabotsi Street, uh, Religious Seal. I think the explorer was really Venetian and the English called him John Cabot instead. Instead of Zwan Kabotsi, if my uh, historical memory is correct. Uh, let's move him there. Uh, so, claim fabricated, Visna. Right, so we get him back in seven days. Belly. Right, so we can go against them pretty much no matter when I wish to now. All of those are done. Uh, Astra Khan, I think I maybe should make a claim on. Let's do that next. Yeah, probably got enough time. Only. Ah, they're allied to Nogai. Ooh, that's an interesting. That's a way I can get into war against Nogai then. Yeah, let's do that. Kazan, they're not allied to any. I think I make a claim on there. Let's check the rival situation as well. Uh, I've got plenty to core up Lithuanian territory. Yeah. Let's go. Let's fabricate claim then. Rin, I think it is. Run. Very cheap. Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to conquer anything now to slow down Novgorod, basically. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, depending on how much I take from Lithuania, though, I may start a war around that time to call something else up. What was that? That was Beslag and converting something, was it? Okay. That's actually good for me. So, uh, at the moment, if I'm converting to Protestant in a bit. Exploits Yadkin. I've got a mission for Powhatan, which is now completed. Okay. Let's bring those back to there. Wait a day. One extra base production Powhatan. So we can now choose another mission. Naval race against. Great Britain. Have to have a fleet of 61 or more. We get a few nice bonuses there actually. Remove Ashkar from the map. That's not too bad. Not going to take any of those yet. Uh, they can wait for the boats, I guess. Uh, what's the situation here? All under control, basically. I should have embargoed. Who is it? Whoever I rivaled the English and insulted them, I forgot again. Uh, so, new exploits. And I have to get a settler back, don't I? Because I've only got three on the go at the moment. I'm in an absolute fortune. Trade is going to go through the roof once we've got Novgorod, though. To be honest, to do this achievement, I didn't pick very good ideas 
getting exploration really didn't help with conquering Europe at all. If I'd have gone for something like quantity, we might have done this a lot earlier. I think before the 17th century is a pretty good time for this uh, achievement now, to be honest. At the start of this let's play, I wasn't even definitely going for it, but it turned out I went for it. Uh, so I need to get a settler back. Well, the settler's coming to there, isn't it? So I'll grab him back once uh, he's arrived, which is in 40 odd days. Uh, manpower's looking good. So we're going to now. Right, I'm going to take that off. Let's try and get him to explore there again. Looks like Spain is still colonizing over here, which I don't really want them to do. Uh, when I'm Protestant, I'm going to colonize Caribbean and this area. Probably. I want to get the extra merchants in these colonial regions. That's pretty important as well. It will take too long to colonize the whole eastern seaboard of uh, the Amer uh, America, so I'm not sure I'm going to do that soon. Doesn't look like anyone's colonizing it anyway, so... Right, I've lost a military guy. Do I actually need a military guy? Not really, but they're so cheap, I might as well. So let's get that guy. Uh, force limit is now 100. Right, that's successful. Excellent. Let's recall straight away, though. Wait a day. And let's get started over here. Okay. That is, yeah, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, native assimilation in Sicknicht. Some of the local natives have been assimilated into the colony's population. With the additional population, we have a lot bigger faith in the feasibility of Sicknicht. 100 pop from natives. France sent a warning. I haven't checked the military situation in Europe, have I, for a while? Let's see how battered everyone is. See, so Ottomans are getting a bit damaged. That's about it. Austria is freaking huge. The English haven't lost their army, sadly. Well, actually, I've said that they've lost almost all mercs and Austria is.